Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll be walking through the steps needed to set up waypoint missions, whether on site or remotely. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Briefly, for those new to drone waypoints, waypoints are a function that allows the DJI Air 3 to autonomously fly a pre-planned route while performing various actions. These actions include automatically taking photographs and videos along the route of areas pre-designated by the drone operator. The mission route can be saved and rerun over and over again using the exact same parameters every time. Now because of this, waypoints are perfect for construction progression photos and videos, before and after shots, seasonal progression photos and videos, day to night, real estate videos, and so much more. Now we'll talk about how to set up and run waypoint missions. First, we'll look at basic waypoint setups. Now the first thing you do is want to be in video mode. While in video mode, fly to the location where you'd like to start your waypoint, and then tap the waypoints icon on the left of your screen. Next, press either the C1 button or the plus symbol to add a waypoint. After adding your first waypoint, you will see it on the mini map to the left, as well as on the waypoint list. Continue flying around the area, adding as many waypoints as you need. Now, it's advisable to face the direction you would like the drone oriented when flying, although this can actually be changed later, as we'll look at. When you've finished all your waypoints, you'll see the final duration, distance, and waypoint count, this in parentheses, of your mission. Now we'll talk about modifying the waypoints in the current mission. After the waypoint mission has been mapped out, there are a lot of different options to customize each and every waypoint in the mission. To modify a waypoint action, simply click on the waypoint number you'd like to modify and adjust the parameters. The actions for the initial waypoint can be mass applied to all waypoints in the mission if so desired. Additionally, all options can be modified at any time after the mission has been saved. Now, if you need to delete waypoints, simply select a desired waypoint. You'll enter the modification screen to your chosen waypoint, and then from there, you can press the delete icon. To view your current waypoints, tap the mini map in the bottom left hand corner. To go back to the live view or camera view, tap that area again. Now we'll discuss running the waypoint mission. After all individual waypoint options have been adjusted to your liking, there are a few steps involved with actually running the mission. Now before running the mission, there are, are global mission-based settings that can likewise be set, and we'll look at those as well. Now, the first step, you want to press the back arrow on the waypoint modification screen. If you made no modifications to any of the waypoints, then we'll just go to the next step. Here, we'll press next on the right hand side of the waypoint section. You can either press go on this screen or change the final overall flight settings first and then press go. After pressing go, wherever the drone is in the air currently, it will then proceed to the first waypoint adjust its height, its heading, and the gimbal tilt, and then proceed to run the mission. Any waypoint mission can be saved upon completion. The automatic way of doing so would be by exiting the waypoint function entirely. At this point, upon exit, you'll be prompted to either save the mission and exit, or exit without saving. You can also manually save your waypoint mission. You do this, by pressing the save icon, which looks like a sheet of paper. You'll then be brought to the waypoint history screen with your current waypoint mission on the top. Press save. Now choose between 
either save, which will save the mission as a generic file name, or save as, which will allow you to save the mission as something recognizable to you. Your newly saved waypoint mission will now show up with the date the mission was saved. We'll now talk about creating remote waypoint missions. Now, one of the great things about the waypoint mission planner is that you don't actually have to be at the location where you would like to fly to create waypoints there. Now, for this particular video, I created a mission miles from my home point to test and see if it would work. Now, I created the mission one day, then I drove to the location the mission would run the next day and ran the mission. Now, this could be very useful for those who might need to plan uh, client or commercial missions prior to actually getting on location. Additionally, with the ability to modify waypoints in the mission planner, any height and action adjustments can then be made once on location when you had a chance to survey the actual mission site. Now here are a few things to know and do prior to setting up waypoints remotely. The Air 3 and the remote controller must be powered on and connected to the internet. This of course is needed for the waypoints to use the map feature within the DJI Fly app. And instead of using the C1 button or the plus symbol, you would just simply tap the screen at the designated waypoint location to add the waypoint. Any waypoint can be modified at any time after the mission is saved, even those created remotely. So to remotely create a waypoint mission, while both the Air 3 and a remote controller are on, tap on the area map in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Here you can expand the area map in the camera view. Then open the waypoint mode by pressing the waypoint icon. Locate the area on the map you would like to place your first waypoint. Tap the area with your finger to set the waypoint. Now you continue to do this for all the waypoints needed. Next, save the waypoint mission by tapping on the save icon. And you can either save the mission outright or do a save as and name the mission something custom. After all this, you can exit the Waypoint Mission Planner. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.